Hi, it's Adam from Nokia again, and we're going to look at how Nokia are going to be pushing mobile innovation yet again with the 2520, our first Windows tablet. Now, the 2520 has the same Lumia styling that you'd expect to see on all of our smartphones, with a polycarbonate surround, super slim, and of course, lots of colour. Now, under the hood, there's some really important things. The first thing I'd like to highlight is at the top here, and there's a little drawer there that you can put in a micro SD card so you can expand the memory, but also a micro SIM. This is 4G LTE ready to go out of the box. You'll also notice this screen is absolutely beautiful and it works not only indoors like I am now, but outdoors in direct sunlight. This is one of the best screens I've seen on a 10.1 inch tablet. Now at the bottom, we've got a connector here, and that's very important because that works with a lovely keyboard we have as well. Uh, chiclet keyboard, and you pop your tablet in there and uh, it stands up, and then you can wrap it, surround it, and put it away and keep it nice and safe and secure. We've also got connectors here for micro uh, HDMI and for your USB 3 as well. And then on the side, we've got the power and the headphone jack. So all ready to go out of the box. Now, one thing I didn't mention just quickly on the case is we've also got two USB sockets as well. So you can fully connect it wherever you are and wherever you're going. Well, the first thing you'll notice is Windows 8.1 RT. And you get all the new features that 8.1 has to offer. If you slide up here, you've got your full apps list. So it's nice and quick and easy to get to all the apps that you have on the tablet. Slide back, I get my start menu, and I can adjust all of the size, shapes, and orientation of the tiles. So if I push and hold on a tile, let's pick this nice weather tile here. I can choose where it goes just by moving it around. Very phone-like experience. I can also highlight it, and then I can change and resize the tile and uninstall it, unpin it, all the things you'd expect to see on a Windows device. I can also rename the group. So if I have all of my applications in one selected file, perhaps it's all my office applications that I have here, I can name that group and make sure they're all in the same place. Now, let's talk a little bit about applications. It's app filled. So there's lots of Microsoft applications you get inbuilt. So you get all of your office tools as well. So if I open up PowerPoint, it takes me to the, the desktop experience and I can flick through and use OneNote and I can use Excel, I can use Word. I can even use Outlook and there's both a desktop application for that or we have this new mail application here for Outlook as well and I can use this fully succinctly with all of my Windows experience and it saves to SkyDrive Cloud as well. Now I can use the multitask feature so I can have multiple windows open at the same time and the great new thing about 8.1 is I can actually decide how big I want those panes so I can fully uh, multitask here, maybe I want to edit the document and then send it to someone or I'm writing an email while I'm sending a document and I can fully adjust how that looks. If I go back to my start screen, there are a number of Nokia inbuilt applications as well, such as Nokia Camera, we've got Video Direct here, Nokia Music. Now let me take you through a bit more detail what those applications look like. If we go into Nokia Camera here, I'll just open that application up. Stop from multitasking. Now this is similar to the Pro Cam you'll experience on the 1520 and the 1020. So I can adjust all these levels as well, change my exposure and things like that. And you can see I can take a lovely picture if I decide to take an image like that. And again, I can view that up here as well. If I go back, once I've taken all my images, as we showed on the 1520, you can go to Nokia Storyteller just here. And you can view all your images in date order. You can also view them in map, so whereabouts they were taken, by location, and any favourites you may have uh, saved as well. If I go back to timeline quickly, and I highlight an image, it's a nice pic there, someone doing a Nokia music demo, some headphones. If I pinch in there, I can actually cycle through, much like you saw on the 1520 earlier. And then we also have Nokia Music and here Maps. So Nokia Music gives you free music, so none of the 30 second clips, you get the full free music streaming service. And I can also play the last mix I was listening to. And then we have here Maps as well, which fully syncs with your mobile phone system. If I multitask back again to the start screen, I can go into our new video director suite. Now this enables you to sync your device by using NFC, so using the 1520 or any of the other Lumia devices. And when I create a new video, I've actually got one I started earlier, 
I can select clips from my tablet or from my mobile phone and this will show me all my pictures and videos on the tablet and on, on the phone. And then I can edit them together and I can start using music and outros and all the things you'd expect to see on a professional edited video. And those are just some of the great applications you get with the 2520. This is the perfect companion for any Nokia Lumia smartphone.